Welcome everyone to um, Playboy Magazine uh, Raw Playboy Review, uh, December 1958 and we have obviously the Christmas issue. Uh, start with the front cover, this kind of reminds me of a jester, these two colours, red and green, but obviously that is a Christmas combination. So we have our kind of Christmas review as such, there's always generally a, a summary uh, at this time of year. So, But we have got some good uh, separate features in the magazine, obviously we have the summary of the Playmates for the year, the best ones, they pick out a little feature and we'll run through some of those because some of them are a little bit controversial if you remember from what we've had this year. Um, let's just scroll through the adverts. There is this interesting advert here, the Kirk Douglas introduces the raincoat in a case, which I never knew um, he did this advert, um, but obviously he must have got paid quite a lot of money to do it. Um, so that's quite interesting. And we have the usual ads, after six ushers, all of the usual ones that you've seen featured before. The sound for, of fun for everyone, and um, this is Columbia, which is featured in there quite a few times as well. Lots of musical things, lots of small ads, which I can't go through them all, but you will see them on a regular basis. We have, once we get through all of these ads, there's just more and more, so more of these gimmicky things appearing now, like pers personalised Playboy matches, playing cards. Binders have been in there for quite a while for the collectors, um, the Playmate Garter, and you know, this kind of thing you saw uh, probably in the late sort of 90s, early 80s, um, right into the 2000s, to be honest, where there was this kind of merchandising for like bikinis and uh, all kinds of things like that, like underwear and generally women's things. There was lots in there. So this was kind of emphasizing that, you know, women are reading the magazine. They are getting involved in the brand, the Playboy spirit as such. So the Playboy um, 12 Gifts in One, this is obviously the subscription. So we're getting a bit more colour, a bit more, you know, the production is better now yeah, in the magazine. So we start with um, Jerome Weidman. Um, I did pick up some notes. He actually won a 1960 Pulitzer Prize, um, which I didn't know about. But I went through and had to read through some of these other bits um, that he had done. So um, a, a good author uh, and went on to do lots of other things um, as well. And then we have your tide for the Playboy home, so all the usual accessories that the Playboy must have. Um, things for your fireplace, the radios, um, looks like portable cookers, side cabinets, and I think that that's not a Playboy logo. It does look like it though, but it's not a Playboy logo. Um, and then we have, I'm sorry if this camera is going out of focus. It shouldn't be, uh, but it is. Looks like it's uh, zooming out as I'm turning away. As I said in the last few videos, I'm trying to improve production. So I'm using a different camera with a different lens. Um, and it does have an auto zoom, but it seems to be tracking away from my face. So just ignore that. Um, Christmas cards, Playboy Christmas cards, which uh, were in the last issue as well. There were some bits on there about those. Um, Luggageless Love, um, H. Shannon Smith, who's featured in the magazine before. Uh, Playboy is a fifth anniversary scrapbook and I like these these kind of scrapbook shots and um, where it goes through and shows sort of behind the scenes and obviously we know Playboy um Playboy has a, a huge scrapboy collection or Hugh Hefner well, actually owned the collection but it was all about the history of him and the magazine I don't know where they are archived now I don't know who owns them whether they'll ever be published um but it'll be interesting to see those but there's about two and a half thousand of them I think so we may not ever get to see them but I like that it kind of almost takes me back even though I wasn't around in this era, but I, I like seeing the scrapbook features. Uh, Distillation of Sweet Delight, this is about liqueurs. I'm not a huge fan of liqueurs myself. Um, find them a bit too sweet in in, in most uh, cases, but when they're in chocolates, kind of like that though. You're tied for the Playboy Traveller, so all the accessories that the Playboy is gonna need when he's traveling around. We have the model Playboy from this month, and this is Joyce Nizari. Um, she starred in a couple of films with Frank Sinatra, and I did write them down because I couldn't remember the names, but it was Hole in the Head and Come Blow Your Horn. So um, she was a, you know, an actress, um, did various things. Her actual centerfold for this month as a Playmate of the Month is quite tame. Um, just a bit of a, a cheeky shot here. Uh, on all the usual things when she's on holiday, sunbathing, so tame for a December um, centerfold. 
but we do get a nice summary of some of the other ones for the month so that's a, a kind of bonus everybody hates david starbuck by steve allen and i believe this steve allen i haven't double checked this yet but i think this steve allen went on to do things within tv and production and he was quite big on on that side of things uh, man at his leisure and then we have on the scene what makes people tick uh, and this is another interesting guy um john frankenheimer and he directed um i think the film um ronin and i believe he did manchurian candidate um i cannot remember from my head but i believe it was those two um so yeah this is obviously back him back in 1958 but he went on to do some uh, big things as well and i think he passed away around 1998 maybe a little bit later so we have your time for the playboy sportsman all the usual things that you would find in a sportsman's house the tennis racket the gun you know just that kind of weird thing that this this man would be doing all of these things he'd have all of these hobbies but um obviously it's not the case this jack cole cartoon i think has featured in the magazine before looks very similar to another one that he did previously but um it, it might be slightly different but there was certainly one with the police van but i might be getting that confused with the charles w miller version if you remember and then we've got a uh, more yuletide gifts the seven sheiks of arabi by john sack more cartoons john dempsey hasn't been in a magazine for a while uh, we're running a little late by garson uh, Kanan. reward classic again which i skipped through most of these because they came quite repetitive if you're new to the magazine there was lots and lots of these um ribald classics which i was going through but they were quite lengthy so i've kind of moved away from those um playboy's most popular main mate so Playboy's most popular playmates said that a bit too far. So we have the girl next door. Um, so yeah, we'll go through all of them and this will feature the controversial ones. So we had Elizabeth Ann Roberts, who you remember was only 16 when she starred in the magazine. Um, it went to court and Playboy were found to be innocent and you know had no knowledge that she was actually underage and the mum attested the same that she had sort of lied, uh, but nothing sort of came of it um and then we have jane mansfield who's been hugely popular i know that when i put screenshots up on twitter and facebook and the actual video with her featured in it has got quite a few views um i want to say quite a few i mean a few hundred um the, the, still building it you know we will get there into the thousands eventually um janet pilgrim um obviously another big feature she was obviously the office secretary if you remember um, if you don't go back and have a look at that particular issue when she first featured i can't remember which year it was but search through the youtube channel that i have and you'll find uh, the video in there or have a look on 109 media on twitter or facebook uh, and you'll see it on there so the december issues for me always seem to be a bit of a letdown because they are like i said a bit more of a summary but you've got some pretty good um a uh, good playmate of the month but you know it's a bit tame in terms of imagery um but some good writers and some prominent people who went on to do some pretty big things um so we're almost at the end lots and lots of adverts lots of uh these kind of gifts here and remember to pause this if you want to see anything in particular i'll kind of scroll through them because i've seen so many of these ads before but if anything that looks uh, interesting to you or something you're curious about just give it a pause and and have a look there was an advert that i saw in here but i cannot find it uh, again now which is a shame but i'll probably point it out in the next issue when i see it so that's us done for december 1958 and we're going to head into january 1959 which i am reading at the moment um i've kind of skipped ahead a few years as well i've sort of dabbled into the 60s uh, to see what Playboy was like at that time and it's actually um, completely different I mean in terms of just so many things just the style of the Playmates and uh, the fashion it starts very early I think in the 1960s from what I can remember but we're almost there only a year off so another 12 issues to go and then we start heading into the, the 60s where we will see I assume some much bigger changes but that's me done for now uh, enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you for the next issue January 1959